What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in again this week. This week, we're going to be diving back into Unreal Engine and learning how to set up the gunshot system used by Epic Games in Fortnite. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. And if you'd like to be a part of the Sound Effects Guide Discord server, you will find a link in the description below. With that being said, let's get started. So a couple weeks ago, we had taken a look at five amazing game audio mechanics. And one of those mechanics was the gunshot system in Fortnite. And what makes this system stand out is the fact that you will actually hear different sound effects for gunshots depending on how close or how far away you are from another player. Now, before we get into Unreal Engine, there's a little bit of prep work that we have to do first. And so to do that, we're actually gonna jump here into Pro Tools. And the first thing that you need to do is you need to source different sound effects for the gunshots. And so the way that I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna set up one for being close, one for a medium distance, and then one for far away. So we'll need three different gunshots, and I've already got those sourced. So let's take a look. I've got our gunshot for up close. And then I've got our gunshot for the medium distance. And then I've got one for being far away. Now, when you set these gunshots up, the first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that all of your transients are pretty well in the same area. The second thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that all three of your sound effects are the exact same length. From there, you can bounce them out as individual files, and that's really all the prep work that you need to do. I mean, you can use whatever sound effects you want, but they have to start at the same time and they have to end at the same time. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into Unreal Engine here. And as you can see, I've already got my three gunshots imported in. We've got our close, we've got our medium, and we've got our far away. And so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to right click on here. We're gonna go down to sounds and we're going to create a sound cue. And uh, we can just call this gunshots. And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to grab these three gunshots and I'm just gonna drag them over here and then move this window back. All right, so we've got our three gunshots and I'm just going to rearrange these here real quick because a clean blueprint is a happy blueprint. And so the first thing that we wanna do is for all three of these, we want them to have different attenuations. So we're gonna bring in three different attenuation nodes. And we're just going to route our gunshot sounds to that attenuation. So then we need to set up an attenuation for each of these. Now I've actually already gone ahead and done this. So let me move this back out of the way. And I've got a close, a medium and a far. And basically what you wanna do is you wanna change your inner radius and your fall off distance. Now I've just got some arbitrary numbers in here. You're gonna to wanna to change this depending on whatever project you're working on. But if I look at the close and then I look at the medium, you can see that these numbers are a little higher and then far obviously is higher still. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for our gunshot close, click on the attenuation, and that'll be our close shot. Our medium obviously is gonna be our medium shot and far away, likewise, it'll be our far shot. Now, once we've got all three of these, we simply run them into 
a mixer. So all you're gonna do is run that mixer output into your output node, and that's it. You're done. But to show you this in a game setting, what I'm also gonna do just for testing purposes is I'm also going to add a slight delay in here. And uh, we're just gonna make this one second for our min and max. And I'm also going to make it loop. So I'm gonna grab my mixer, put it into the delay, run the delay into the loop, and then the loop into the output. Uh, but again, you wouldn't have these two nodes in your final project, I'm just doing this just for testing purposes. I'm gonna go ahead and save that, and I'm gonna close this window and move this out of the way, because I do actually already have a test map set up here. Um, so just for reference, so you know where the source is coming from, that's what we got. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab that sound cue, and I'm just gonna pull it right in here. And so you'll notice when you pull this in, you're going to see all of those different radiuses. So instead of typically with a play sound at location, you would have just one sphere or maybe two for the inner radius and the fall off. But once we have multiple attenuations, you're actually gonna see all of them. So it kind of gives you an idea of how far away your sound is gonna propagate. So now if we come in here and we hit play, you'll see I've already got the, the ground marked out just so I can have a visual reference of where these changes are gonna happen. But you can see here when we're outside of this green circle, we don't hear anything. And then as we move in, we can hear that far away gunshot. So we'll move into medium. And so you're gonna hear that medium gunshot. You're also gonna hear that far away gunshot underneath it. So what I've done is kind of make sure that all of these different layers are complementary to each other. And uh, if you wanted, you could actually set up sound classes as well, um, as like sound mix modifiers, so that as the medium gunshot comes in, it actually ducks the far away. And then as you'll hear when we get into the close range, So now you can hear that that close one is playing as well as the medium and the far away. Uh, if you wanted, like I said, you could go in and cause the closest one to you to cause the others to duck and so on and so forth. But as long as they're complementary, it's probably not super necessary, but you could do it. So that's it. That's all there is to setting up this system. It's super simple. And I know that this video was kind of short, but I've really been wanting to get back into Unreal Engine audio tutorials. So if there's any Unreal Engine audio tutorials that you'd like to see me create, let me know in the comments below. Until next time.